A true and faithful relation of a past for many years between Dr. D and some spirits, 1659, is Merrick Cospon's book. Um, we continue with June 9th, uh, Meridi Hora 5. D said, Very long I prayed in my oratory and at my desk to have answer our resolutions of diverse doubts, which I had noted in a paper, and which doubts I read over distinctly. They discern the preparation of things about the table of practice, and other things above my lament and stone. But answer came none. Neither in the stone did anything appear. No, not the golden curtain, but the stone was of his natural diaphanite to E. Diaphanite tea? Not familiar with that. Um, but I held on in pitiful manner, to request some advertisement. If for any our trespasses, our offenses, this unlooked for alteration from former dealing with what had happened and so on, at length a voice came from behind Edward Kelly over his head and said thus. And the voice said, The judgments of God are most profound and hard in the understanding of man. There is silence above. Let there therefore be patience among you, I have said. D said, Upon this answer, I began to discourse the diverse causes of this silence, and diverse manners of silences, and at the end I became in a great and sorrowful heaviness, in the fear of the wrath and displeasure of God, conceived for some our misbehavior towards him, since our last dealing, whereupon I prayed long at my desk, standing for mercy, comfort, counsel, and some exposition of the former sentence. After a long time, thus, passing there, appeared one in the very top of the frame of the shoe stone, much like Michael, who said, Write, for I must be gone. Silence there is in heaven. For the governors of the earth are now before the Lord. The doings of their feats are now disclosed. Everything is noted, for that God will be righteous in all his doings. There is not this day any one that governeth the people on earth, but his governing is disclosed, and his government is set open. And his faults revealed. They without number cry, Lord, let thy vengeance come. The earth saith, Be it so. Sathan, Sathan is before the Lord. He hath garnished himself with garlands as a conqueror. And what he saith is wonderful. Therefore shall the Lord open his mouth and curse the earth and all living creatures, for iniquity hath gotten the upper hand. Publicly, the states of mankind in the world are condemned. We are silent and ready with our vials to power the wrath of God upon them. When he saith, Be it so, therefore be your patience. For our patience is an 
universal silence. We look for the mouth of justice, but lo, the Lord saith, Unto the Lord, lift up thy eyes, O God, behold the dignity of thy workmanship, yet suffer for a while. I have a people that will forsake their cruelty, and put off their garments, that stink of abomination, in whom thy name shall be magnified, and our glory in heaven more exalted. But as thou wilt, so be it. Behold, I speak in body, and because I tremble, as at the force of thy great indignation, notwithstanding, we will what thou wilt. If therefore these wonders be so great in heaven, wonder thou not at our silence. Therefore be patient, and say unto the earth, Why groanest thou so hard? Are, why is thy bo uh, body so rotten? Hast not thou justly deserved these things for thy iniquity? I say, if ye be partakers of these secrets, how much more shall ye be partakers of that sweetness, which is the eternal dew, and very bread of it, self of life. Edward Kelly says he's gone. So, he is gone. Um, D said, I prayed a, a pretty while after thanksgiving, and so on. Soli Dio nostro omnis lam potestat eo gloria in seculorum sacula Amen. And in the Bible, they usually have it spelled Shathan. But Sathan is, you know, with the, you know, the dragging S means adversary. Shathan is the continual scourge. Well, I talked about that. This is my pentagram, right? So, um, the Bible's ready yet a while. Um, so, one of the things that's a challenge for a lot of people is the difference between um, when people have uh, mystical states, um, being grateful for what they've experienced and what they've heard. It's like in this, some people like, it's like, one of the things that people would immediately refer to is why... You know, why are they just having, um, you know, it's pretty much for the, uh, for the entire part, an experience of only word. Not much in the sake of uh, vision. And so we continue on with the table, uh, where were we? Um, okay. Page 246. Oh, let's see, that's, that's why. Uh, page 240, uh, I mean, page 247, Dr. D visited by Dr. Kurtz at his own house, his complaints, Dr. Kurtz's account of the Emperor, His Majesty, present, apprehensions of this business, some mathematical books written by Dr. D. and Commendinus, a very famous man, and so on. Another letter of Dr. D.'s is a Spanish ambassador, his wonderful confidence, declining wisely, his spirits had so instructed him. The test of human reason. Rothkris Fermentus, to be corrected here. An account in a postscript of his last conference with Dr. Curtis. 101, page 249. After a swelling preface, fitted for the scene and auditors, a long discourse upon occasion of Dr. D. 
his wise, oh, his wife's sickness of true physics and the causes of disease is much savoring or of or in the preface of Paracelsus is style and spirits. Rare stuff, the most part of it, for a quack. You know, we're not just summarizing here, but we, we have um, Merrick Cospon's commentary with the summary of the actions in this book here. Um, 102, page 252, 103, page 253. The same master prosecuted and particularly applied to Jane D., the wife of Dr. D., her present case, her disease, and the remedy. 104, page 253, Dr. D. reproved as not sensible enough of what God had done for him, which is pompously set out by the spirits. Money not to be expelled, uh, not money not to be expected from these spirits, who nevertheless promised them, after a while, great plenty of all things, a power to make and mar whom they please, and so on. Edward Kelly reproved for contriving how to steal away. Albert Lasky to prevail against its enemies. Another meeting of Dr. Kurtz and Dr. D's. The Emperor's answer by Dr. Kurtz to some passages of Dr. D's message delivered unto him as from God. Dr. D doth interpret himself accepts of the, of the emperor's proffer to do him good, and so on. Dr. Kurtz and Dr. D together again, but no account of his two letters to the emperor yet given. Mathematical inventions of Dr. Kurtz and so on, a draught for a pass is to be obtained of the emperor for Dr. D and so on. Dr. D takes notice of the respects of the two Spanish ambassadors, another great man, done to him publicly. The account of some two months from the 8th of October 1584 to December 20th are wanting. Um, some of what we don't have in the Cotton Manuscript is to be found in the five books and <clears throat> some other stuff. Um, one of the things that a person needs to remember with spiritual practice is we are the physically incarnated beings. So when you talk to uh, the male and female and invisible beings, is you know those are jinn, um, and they're not physically incarnate. So people worship these things, hoping them to give them physical goods or physical or a cure for them uh, you know uh, bring into them things for physical pleasures but um you know we're the ones that can pick up things and whatnot and you know page 353 their second arrival to prague dr d's letter to the spanish ambassador his wonderful progress, as he thought, in high mysteries and revelations and so on. His house there, page 354, Dr. D's letter to Dr. Kurtz, one of the emperor's privy council, and so on as before. Complaint of aspersions and minus, not nemis, as printed. Profession of good intentions towards the emperor and so on. <coughs> um, so it, there is a project, you know, that the two volumes sat there. But there is a project about the um, um, uh, some of the lettering 
I, I've compared the pictures myself and uh, some examples. I can't say for everything because um, I haven't compared like to that extent. But what I've seen where it differs from the general tradition of the Enochian system, the manuscripts, I would agree that they constructed the manuscripts correctly. So. But this is this is the way of Hormeric Cosmon had a lot of mistakes that Skinner and some others and those who just looked at the original printings, you know, saw I have them on file somewhere. Uh, I mean I have the pictures of the manuscripts somewhere. Um so hundred and five, page three hundred and fifty five. A three hundred and sixty one, okay. Long parabolical, enigmatical apparitions, which Dr. D did not like very well, nor understand, as appeareth by page 361, and some wild doctrines of the fear of the Lord, innocency, sanctification in Christ, and so on, capitalistically set out. Now, I would have to see what they mean, I, as much as there's diagrams and formulas and stuff like this among Dr. D's writings, I think Merrick Kosman's using the phrase Kabbalistically, even in the Christian sense of the Christian Kabbalah, um, you know, a bit too loose. The Philosopher's Stone, Promise to the Emperor, by Dr. D. 106, page 361. God's mysteries, not to be dispensed, but by degrees, and so on. The Philosopher's Stone, a great mystery. 107, page 362. A progress in the Kerbal. Opposition as before. The lesson. Page 387. May be referred to, too. Out of the Book of Enoch. And, you know, as we have seen in the Padchim, you know, the, the two-sided four-by-fours. And we have here that it's right to left. Pug is gin. But here, the characters, you have the straight character. Pag e igim, and then you would have um, a cup. Lafos? Okay. Anyways. Um, yeah, right to left. And there's other places where we can indicate that that's the case. People are like, no, it's not right to left. Oh. You know, um, 108, page 364, and 109, page 365, 110, page 366. 111 and 112, page 367. A further progress, the mysteries of that worthy lesson highly set out, and some kind of exposition of it. But as Edward Kelly rightly judged, Ignatum per Ignatius. Reverence required, Dr. D. in a swooned, an illusion. So pretended. People, people have real experiences, thank you very much, emotional and otherwise, with all sorts of things. So, um, 113, page 367, Dr. D, and so on, accepted against as unworthy because of their sins. 
and unthankfulness for so many mercies. Another whomsoever Dr. D would choose upon certain condition, cautions and conditions to be substituted in Edward Kelly's place. Dr. D's sorrow and humble request about the Philosopher's Stone, his desire to be instructed by his spirits about the sacrament of the Lord's Supper, the mystery of it papalistically unfolded, the Trinity, Adam's fall, Christ's incarnation, the doctrine of transubstantiation, a receiving under one kind of adoration of the Eucharist, a receiving of it not allowed. Now, Simon of Pariah, the Essene teacher of righteousness, um, I think that's who they refer to with that phrase. Um, one of the texts about him makes him much out like the Jesus story, but not not a literal son of God, but the resurrection and stuff. Um, 114, page 379. The former doctrine, magnifying, is also the lesson in chemical gibberish uh, gibberish I would assume but um just because Merrick Kossipan is not versed in in the way of speaking or something doesn't mean that it's gibberish of multiplication dignification and so on 115 page 373 more of their unworthiness through sin and incapacity for such high things. Dr. D. prayeth, Albert Lasky rejected, Dr. D. much troubled, 116, page 375, Dr. D. very much earnest, for the secret of the Philosopher's Stone, so often promised, but eluded with sermon-like stuff, of reproof, of patience, afflictions, worthy partaking, confusion, and so on. 817, page 378, Dr. D himself heareth and feeleth. More reproofs, Dr. D to prevail against his enemies, but commanded speedily to go for Prague, to prevent imprisonment, and so on. 118, page 379, here again hastened to be gone. Albert Lasky, his case. Presume that says case. There's parts of that missing. Um, 119, page 379. They begin their journey, but by an apparition in the way, after some godly promises made to Dr. D for his obedience and predictions, all false, of judgments upon the emperor, and exaltation of Stephen King, of Poland, and so on. They are commanded to return back again, and to return to Prague, which done Dr. D's child is christened. Some of the chiefest in Epper's court, being godfathers and godmothers. 120, page 382, the prophets of old times summoned, why visited, and so on. Now, we'd have to see whether they were trying to call up the prof the dead prophets or what was going on there. Um, the eternal generation of Christ the Son of God, platonically set out. So, the, the meaning, where it's not literal and it has more functions, per se, probably. Divine necessity, the cause of all things, election, perseverance, and so on. Earnest, expostulations, and exhortations. Christ again, the church, militant, and triumphant. Dr. D. and Edward Kelly, much taken with this goodly stuff, and confirmed in their error. Page 387, the pretium, uh oh, the precious lesson before spoken of, of revealing the secret of the Philosopher's Stone. 
121, page 388, the lesson and some obscure words of it. Expressed in English, Edward Kelly, desirous to be rid of his office. 122, page 389, Jane D., Dr. D.'s wife, her earnest and humble petition to God, so poor, so the poor woman thought, and his angels for relief in her great necessity. The petition answered, first with reproof, but commendation and promises afterwards. The spirit confesseth, he had no power to procure the money, but instead of it, pretends to give them counsel to get out of Prague speedily, and so on. A record of a hot conflict between Dr. D. and Edward Kelly about some magical papers in which conflict Dr. D. thought himself in danger of his life and was fain to cry out for help. 113, page 391. An apparition fitted for the occasion. The fault of Edward Kelly's refractoriness laid upon the malice and envy of the devil and some places of Estras applied to that purpose. Um, so, uh, a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints came forward with um, some book of Estras that he scried from a showstone to, and then that, and the church that people call Mormons banned the practice among their members. So Edward Kelly, you know, as, as, a, as a side note to show that it's a repeated thing. The Lost Book of Estras, where is it? Um, Edward Kelly rebuked, but comforted and confirmed with the promise of no evil spirit to be suffered, to trouble him henceforth, and many exhortations, with a parable also to that purpose. Some questions proposed by Dr. D., who is referred to the Book of Enoch. 114, page 395. Dr. D. and so on sharply reproved for not fulfilling the command of a speedy departure with more expedition. He acknowledgeth, convicted by some plausible considerations, his fault, and prayeth fervently. 125, page 396. The stone shut up for twenty days. Their journey from Prague to Krakowia, and then the way strange whirlwinds, some strife about their house, Albert Lasky, by whom Dr. D. is brought to the king, Sustinum for Fis Terini, to be corrected, and so on. Oh, is it Sustinum for Cis Terrini, okay. Um, delivers his commission, and so on. He receives the communication. So doth Edward Kelly. 126, page 398. The king's preference required by the spirits at these apparitions. 127, page 100, uh, 398. Superstitious prayers by appointment of spirits to the angels governors of kingdoms and nations, Stephen, king of Poland, greatly in favor with God, and to be the minister of great things. Dr. D. doth apprehend which Kelly doth often profess to have found himself, that the spirits knew his thoughts. Edward Kelly, very unquiet and blasphemous, that confirmed again by some apparitions, to Dr. D.'s great comfort, who still very devoutly and innocently had not he brought this grievous delusion upon himself by tempting God so grievously, thus submit unto and comfort himself in God. 128, page 400, Apparitions in the Presence of Albert Lasky, Promises to Dr. D. and to King Stephen, Albert Lasky, upon Conditions to be received into favor again. Dr. D. receives the communion again. 129. Page 401. Apparitions at the court of the King of Poland in the presence of Albert Lasky, one of the princes. 
Palatine of the country, who is offered by the spirit's sudden destruction of the king if he desired it, are to see him struck with leprosy or otherwise corrected. If so, rather, Albert Lasky, his pious and religious answer and choice for which he is commended, the spirits will not endure, though requested to deal with the king in the Hungarian tongue. They promised to speak to him in Latin, a good blessing and formal absolution pronounced by evil spirits. 130. Dr. D. brought to Stefan, king of Poland, who upon some conditions is willing to be present, yet makes an objection at a scripture as not fully satisfied that these apparitions and so on were from God, to which Dr. D. makes an accurate answer, by which it doth appear that either he had studied the case very well, or was helped as other real enthusiasts by his spirits, but very full of faults in the copy, and so printed, more here, I think, than in all the Latin of the book besides. We take notice of it in the errata, which I would have already shared. Um, before actions, a, servant, a fervent prayer of Dr. D's, of his calling, revelations, Albert Lasky, King Stephen, and so on. In the action or apparition, King Stephen sharply reproved for his sins, but on the condition of repentance and submission to God, in this way, the kings of the earth, intoxicati 